Welcome to part 14 on this Ultra XCR bastardized combination <laughs> thing we're building. Yeah. Well, all right, we uh, back looking at this Ulta XCR, whatever, <laughs> and uh, just considering what it is, we still have to do it. A lot of little things now, uh, the nitpicky stuff. So uh, tonight, I think we're going to try to uh, well, we're going to pull the fuel tank off and uh, have better access to sync up the carbs. Of course, we're going to have to get uh, get a, a uh, accelerator lever on here. Um, things like that. Then we got to get the clutch mounted up, make sure that's aligned. Uh, we may have to cut a spacer for that. Uh, I think that was in one of the last videos. Uh, the spacer's for the secondary. We got too many washers stacked. Yeah. I'll yeah, do that offline. That's just right a five-minute lathe job. Cut it out of some yeah. one-inch round stock. Then we'll get the uh, we'll get the fuel tank mounted back up. Try to get the seat on you tonight. Um, if we get that far and we've still got a little bit of time, we would maybe fill up the coolant system, uh, maybe a little bit of oil in it yet, we don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're just, if we, kind of, again, it's kind of a lot of little nitpicky stuff that's just, you know. Yeah, if we if we get that far, we're going to run it and tension the track. Oh yeah, before I forget, hit the subscribe button please. <laughs> I haven't been asking enough at the start of these videos, so please hit the subscribe button. If you like these uh videos about old sleds, wedges, triples, even if you're a Jeep guy just checking out some different stuff, please hit the subscri subscribe button. I could really use your help. Channel's almost there to the thousand subscribers yeah, that we need, the magic number. 1K. 1K, we're getting close. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to keep at this and we'll take you along for the ride. Uh, one thing I want to try to do tonight, since we're going to have the gas tank off, there's going to be a great view of the carbs. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to be able to talk Lonnie into explaining how he syncs up the carbs. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, yeah, we can give that a try. Yeah, Lonnie is like the sync master. We can all sync <laughs> the carbs, but when Lonnie does it, this triple starts so perfect when you get the carbs exactly sync perfectly. Yeah. So, uh, and Lonnie has got like the eye for that. And, uh -huh. it is, and it is by eye. It is, yeah, yeah. Mostly by eye. So you'll want to stick around and catch that when we get there. It's because I get cross eyed when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to clean up a little and then start working. Right up. Yeah. First step to sinking the carbs. Lonnie walked over and noticed we had these cables all crossing each other, all goofy. This one was going over there, that one was going over here, and some of the choke cables were tangled up. Uh, that's a result of us just cleaning it and putting the three carbs together on the bench without much regard for where they were going to land on the and sled. It, <laughs> and it still started. Yeah, well, why wouldn't it? We yeah. were just doing spray gas. But Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so Lonnie's getting all that straightened out. So consider that to be step one of sinking carbs. you got to hold your mouth just right to get that plunger down. All right, what you doing, Lonnie? Well, what I like to do is just get them, I turn them down till those slides go all the way down and touch. And we got the... So the they're 100% closed. The, yeah. the idle screws are idle, backed way off. So idle we're, screws are backed way out, so I've got no resistance. They're not catching on anything there. It's just pure slide action. So, so we're down all the way to the machine feature on the bottom of the car, basically. Yes, sir. Yep. And that's where we start the that's synchronization. Where we start it. Yep. Bottom up. We, I, I, I agree with this. This is what my buddy Lloyd, God rest his soul. Now we're gonna have to do a shot of McGillicuddy because we mentioned Lloyd. Yep. But sure. uh, this is what Lloyd taught me years and years ago about how to sync carbs. You start from the bottom up on that machine feature because that's the only thing you're sure about. You can't be sure on the cap. You try to go from the top down and get it to the cap. That's, uh, you just don't know. Sounds like they're all slamming at the same time. So. They're all perfectly, yep. here, do her again while I do the camera. Okay, yep. I'll do just a tickle. That's where we start. Do just a tickle up. 
That's where we really yep. get it. So this we is tickle it and make sure they lift at the same time. That's the tricky part right there. Nope, center's lifting. The center's lifting first right now. All right, so we're going to adjust that screw on top where the cable goes in until they all lift exactly at the same time. Yep. So we'll take you. We'll come back when we get that done. This was Lloyd's drink, and uh, a lot of you in the vintage sled world knew Lloyd as Merc Diver. He dispensed a lot of wisdom over the years, on, to me anyways, on things like sinking carbs, tuning carbs, clutching, aligning belts, aligning tracks, you name it. Uh, Lloyd taught, he just taught me a lot. And every time we uh, were doing one of those Lloyd things and we mentioned Lloyd. Here's the Lloyd. He finishes it. <laughs> Lloyd would be happy with that. Nope. <laughs> so here's the process. It's about 10,000 of imperceptible thumb twitches. Sometimes punctuated by a big big uh, bite like Lonnie just did just to make sure everything's equal. But uh, I mean we're shooting for you know I, I'm gonna say that we're shooting to have all those carbs lift at the same time within ten thousandths of an inch. So a quarter millimeter for our Canadian friends. So when we twitch that thing, just barely twitch it. I mean, we we want them all to lift. And I'm going to tell you, once again, Lloyd taught me on triples. That's the secret to good starting on triples and good bottom end and getting out of the hole. If your carbs are not synced, your triple's going to be boggy and gross out of the hole and it's not going to start good. So if it seems like we spend a whole lot of time on it, we do. Oh, camera in there. We'll Lon see Lonnie says to come in for some QA. Um, I, I don't know. I can't get, maybe I can get all three in. You want to give that, let me pull this out of the way. All right, I don't know if I can do it. You want to give it a light flick? Just a barely. Oh, that's so close, Lonnie. That's so close. i got to put down the camera and run the flipper myself. <clears throat> but I think you guys can see the, the level of precision we're trying to get. All right, let me flip it. So one thing you can do is use your ears in addition to your eyes and listen. Do you hear that faint, faintly? Click. As they hit the bottom. If you hear two or three clicks, that's not right. When you hear one click, I mean, we're pulling them up half a millimeter, 20 thousandths of an inch. We're pulling them up and they're hitting simultaneously. And uh, it's super hard to show on camera, but these are synced real good. But now for the kicker. Yep. Now we got to do all the lock nuts. And when we do the lock nuts, sometimes that changes the sink and we got to redo it. So you do this process for as long as it takes until they're perfect. That's the moral of the story. So Lonnie's going to quality check my work like I quality check Lonnie's work. And when we're both happy, then we're going to do the lock nuts. And then we probably start adjusting again. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Chances are good. <laughs> Okay, yep, I think we got it now. Uh, again, it's really hard to show all three. Um, How long did we spend? 15 minutes? Yeah, about that. But we spent one minute on the first eighth of an inch they were off, and uh, we spent three minutes on the next sixteenth of an inch. <laughs> then we spent 12 minutes on the last super tiny yeah five ten thousand I'll actually be really interested to watch this video myself and just like even run that slow mo just to see if we're if we're as good as we think we're we are as good as we think we are yeah anyway all right so Mr. Nutter's gonna show us now all right uh, how to how to set that here's uh, the next part and I always do idle this screw. I always do this so we got these idle screws backed way out and uh, I'm not talking about the idle mixture, I'm talking about the idle speed right here. And you got to be very sensitive and run it in until it just touches the slide. Don't lift it at all, just touch the slide and you got to do all three. You 
it's a really, it's a touchy-feely thing. You got to develop the touch. I got to push this cooling hose out That's of the way. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can actually hear on that one. I made the slide even jump a little and settle down. So once I get them all, I got a red marker and a green marker. These are actually paint pens. And I do this on every sled. And it sure makes your life easier in the future. So we're going to take a red paint pen and we're going to mark right on the top. The very top, whether it's on a high part or a low part, we don't care. All right, I'm going to let that dry for a few seconds and have a beer, and then we'll come right back, and we're going to make a green mark on the opposite side. But we're going to let it dry because we got to turn it. We don't want to smudge it. Just waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> That's the best way to wait for paint to dry. All right, so off camera, I marked it. When I, and when I marked it, I, or off camera, I turned them. I, when I marked it, I wrapped it around the side so I could see it from the top. And yeah, I'm an idiot. I climbed all the way up on the table and looked over from the top. But I turned them all in a half a turn, and now I'm giving them a green mark on the top. And then, if you want to get crazy and get more colors and do a blue and a yellow and do every quarter turn or whatever. Oh, that's a little off. Let's see, can I get some of that paint off of there? Hang on, I screwed that one up. All right, well, it is what it is. I want it right there. All right, so I wrapped them all around a little bit, and then I could see them from above if they're lined up halfway. So now that I got all these done, and they're all marked, we're going to go in, so they're a half turn in, we're going in two turns more. So they'll be on the, with the green on the top. Always start with your idle speed in, two and a half turns. Start your sled on a track stand, have your tether on, be ready to hit the kill switch. Be safe, you don't want the thing to run away. But uh, two and a half turns is what Lloyd taught me. Kill switch. Yep, in this case we'll start it with the hoist holding up the back. Just so the track's off the ground, ready to hit the kill switch. All right, so we're going to do that, and then we'll keep on moving. One. Two, so that's two and a half. You can stop filming. One. Two and a half. Well, we're going to get the gas tank mounted up next, which means we got to get those carriage bolts through the tunnel that go right here. And looky what I got. Depleting my stock, but uh, there we go. All right, it's our favorite thing to do. Take this bastard apart and put it back together again. So once again, oh, where's my beer? My beer's over there. Once again, we have the skid out, but only half out for these three carriage bolts. So if Lonnie can grab one up there, I'm going to pinch it with the forceps and spin a tinnerman down it. Enjoy our struggle. I was just there. Did I mention subscribe? If, if you really like watching gray-haired guys fumble with old sleds, you better subscribe. Yeah, right? Should I lift it higher? Nope. We're good. I just need I need the can of liquid here. <laughs> liquid hair. <laughs> it's literally as simple as this to go up, Lonnie. No, I no, it's it, it should be right there. It's just right there. All right. If I poke this down, does it help? Can you feel that? What the hell? Where am I? I nope. I I want to run it up higher so I can just reach right in from the side. I should be able to. Oh hell! Where in the hell? Is Okay, I got it now. I got it right there. Oh, all right, give me that forceps. Here's what we do. You going to pinch it? Do it. Pinch her off. At least until we get this tinnerman started. Or I can just hold it with my finger. So 
because there's two of us. Oh, that's true. I'm used to doing this alone. That's why I got the four sets out. All right, I need a, I need a needle nose. All right, we're done. Like that. Now we just got to get back to where we were with having the skid bolted in again because we like doing that 58 times. Always. I need beer. Oh, dude. I need beer. Me too, please. Yo. Alright, progress was made. We only took like an eighth of a step back tonight. And we had to drop the back of the skid, but I don't know. That didn't take long. It didn't. And honestly, we spent more time standing around drinking beers and bullshitting than we did working on the sled. <laughs> so if it seems like we didn't do that much, well, maybe well, we didn't. Well, just kidding. <laughs> no, I was I was sinking carbs, so I had my eyeballs all crossed up while I was... Carbs are looking nice. Sinking the carbs, so, yeah. The, car the carbs are sink good. This thing's going to get out of the hole real good. That That's a huge help. So uh, if you'd never sink carbs before on a triple... Maybe you learned something this time? Well, hello, Farley. I'm Anyways, fine. we won't drag out this closing. Thanks to our patrons, uh, Aaron, Matt, and Michael. I think they're up there. Maybe they're oh, over uh, there. Thanks, guys. Check out my uh, Patreon page. It's in my description if you want to, you know, get, like, early, you get early access to the videos uh, about 90% of the time and get some, uh, I don't know. There's some other posts there and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see you at the swap meets. See you at the swaps.